What's up today guys? How's it going? Welcome to the channel. It's another random vlog. Random Andrew. Got a random brother. You guys know brother Craig. Always with us. He's like kind of a channel sponsor. He helps us get out here and do this stuff. As you know, if you've been following the channel, we've been working on a bit of a bushcraft series. Trying to hone in our skills and be able to build something. So like, say if poop hit the fan tomorrow, We'd be able to come out here and build a shelter to at least, you know, stay out of the elements a little bit. I don't know. There's a whole genre behind bushcraft, I'm sure you know, especially if you've come over since we started getting back into it. And it is something that I think we all should have a bit of ability to build, to be able to construct out of natural materials and without making a huge impact on the environment that you're doing it in. Now, before we really get too much into that, I just wanted to say... Thank you to everybody who's come on over and subscribed. We've hit the 450 subscriber mark. We're actually at 456 right now, which is awesome. The random channel, the random Andrew channel, has never been that high in subscribers. Now, I know that's nothing compared to some of the channels out there where they've got millions of subscribers. We're not there. We might not be there. We might not ever get there, but that's not the point. Just got to get out and enjoy doing stuff. We do random things, and... I like sharing those experiences. I just like, I don't know, it's something I enjoy doing. I enjoy watching vlogs as well as creating them. As you guys know, I watch a lot of vlogs. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Let's go through the tools that we brought to work with today and then we'll get at her. And I just realized I had that mini cam on my head the whole time during that intro, go figure. Tools for the day, my mini shovel packs up in that nice little pouch, my fine Viking ax, my machete and a bag of rope, tie materials, you know, just different kinds of rope, different thicknesses. And Craig, of course, brought a couple of crusty machetes. <laughs> hey, they've been lasting. My old axe, his water, a bow saw, and his Gerber knife. Needless to say, if you bring a whole toolbox out here to do the work, you're bringing way too many tools to do the job. Some people do this stuff with only a machete. We're not those people. So if you've seen the last video, you know we got done this wall, half wall. It's halfway done. We're going to finish this wall today. And it's pretty basic, just putting, feeding the logs in. Trying to keep a certain thickness as we have too big of a, way too big of a gap here. But there was nothing we could do about it. I, I see where it went wrong and we're going to do it better on that side. No. On this side right here we'll go through that in a little bit but I guess the thicker area here just means we can insulate more we'll have more protection from the elements there that'd be my guess so we're gonna go ahead and finish this wall and we'll update you guys and we'll start on doing the next wall I did not sound right You can do it. Come right in here. Uh, turn. That's that's not mine. <laughs> no, it's gonna work for something good. Now, if we were stinkers, we could probably just take all this wood and build a magnificent hut. 
but we aren't stinkers. Show you how we're getting our wood. If that didn't sound right, don't think that way, people. <laughs> okay, I see a good candidate right That looks like a good faller. Yeah, I may have picked the wrong tree. No, I, I think if you keep working at it, it'll, it'll snap. No. Okay, we'll find a different one. Okay, squat the pump. That might be too big. It might be too big for us to use, but at least it's down and won't fall on anyone. I heard it crunch. Yeah, right there. So many widow makers. Yeah, there's a lot of widow makers out here. Okay, I'm gonna find a different one to bring down. Like that. Just like that, and then I drag it on out of the way. So I have a couple to drag back. That's up north rock rock. Oh yeah, I see this rock? That's a nice boulder. I like that boulder. Actually, I wanted to show you guys that because it's very reminiscent of up north. Big boulders just sticking out of nowhere. I don't have rocks like that. Here. Okay, time for tree number two. I already see it. A never ending supply of firewood as well. Yeah, because it's all dry and crisp. Oh, there it is. This is facing the wrong way. I need it going that way. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to break the end off. <laughs> That end probably won't be using it for us. Well, it would be as firewood. It's almost scary, folks. There's a Craig. Dragging through the woods. I'd say a couple more and we'll probably have good enough for today. We're definitely finishing that wall today. It's coming along nicely and it's looking pretty good. I'll tell you though, gathering the materials, that's a workout. That's a workout and a half. But look at it. It's actually looking really good. And it's tall enough like I'm standing. You guys are on the tripod right now and you're a little shaky, so you're I got gotcha. you. I'm 6'2. Six 6'2? Two. Six two? I got a little bit of distance. I wanted it. Tall enough like this so that I'm not always crouched. Yeah. Some people build their lean tos and shelters. That gets annoying. Just so that they can lay down in them and that's it. If I want to spend some time out here, I'm gonna to want to be able to kick my coat and shoes off, stay warm. You think we'll have it that warm? Oh yeah. 
yeah. t-shirt warm? Yeah. We'll find out. There'll be videos this winter. There'll be like knee deep snow out here and we're gonna make the hike. I'll hold them to that. I'll, Craig's right here. I'll it'll, hold them to that. It'll be insulated enough. <sighs> and then we gotta build a little rocket stove when the whole thing's done. But that's many videos from now. <laughs> okay, so we've been plugging away, getting all this stuff that we dragged back, all cleaned up and tidied up so that it can all fit together nice and uniform and I've been loading a bit of it in. Looks great. And it's the worst because we readjusted our, our base poles as we had to put a couple of spacers in beside here. You check that out. And we're gonna have lots of insulating to do, but it's coming along nicely. The wedge is down at the bottom. Oh. It, the wall was so heavy it was actually pushing the base out. Yeah, but as long as we keep it aligned, these That's are actually good. These are strong. Yeah. So this is actually turning out to be a really clever build method. Yeah. Whoever originally did it, probably hundreds of years ago, and bushcrafters nowadays practicing it, is where we picked it up from. It's actually quite impressive. And we went, we gathered all this from like down here to up here, what you guys seen before to now, and we forgot. We still had all that to back there to use too that we pulled out to realign the wall. So we're gonna finish that up right now. And then just standing here, I can see even more build materials back in this mess over here, yeah. back over here, there's some leaning down back here. There's some back over here. By the time this hut is done, there's not gonna be a single, what do they call it, widow maker. There's not gonna be any widow makers left in here because they'll all be built in our hut. even feed them this way and then feed them back that way if it becomes a problem. You know what actually is making it even cooler is the fact that the fact that we're doing this properly. Good. It wasn't a problem earlier because we were working at the bottom. Seriously, a horse could stand in here and sleep in here and be comfortable. Well, having battery issues for some reason, but would you guys look at that? Here, Craig, you wanna hold that? Yeah. Just let me know if the battery dies. Like, look at this, guys. We built this wall. We, Craig and I, built, with you guys' help, with your guys' help, we built this wall. Look at that. Now we have to do it again. Right here, there. Which yeah. might not be today. We have, to check, we have to check the time and everything, but we'll do the exact same thing we did over here. Build over it up. Here. 
and then we're gonna figure out something for a roof. If you notice, get a shot of up here. We got this, this bit of a gap here. We were thinking of taking, pulling all this off the top and doing kind of an angled bit because there's two layers of sticks here. We can actually stick the, a log between on an angle. Like a rain off. And if we do the same on that side, we can have a slight peak to the roof. And we'll have to put up a center beam for those somehow. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. But we can have a slight peak so that when water melts, the heat coming up, water melts. Snow melts. So when the snow melts, the water doesn't drip through on us. If it's a flat roof, that could be a problem. So, man, I feel like we accomplished something today. How do you How do you feel? I feel good. This, feel was, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, look at this. You got a casualty. <laughs> See that? It, it actually hit here and rubbed right down my face. I hit a Widowmaker. And I was warning myself and Andy all day, watch out for the Widowmakers. Watch, watch out, out for, for the, the Widowmakers. Widowmakers. All right, well, we're going to go check the time. And then we might get a start on this next wall. Just place a couple at least. Yeah. All right, so to do the uprights on this side, the wall we haven't built, got an upright in place, but we got to clean it up. That's where this Viking axe really reigns supreme. I'm not a woodsman. Don't copy my wood chopping practices. You might take something important off. Okay, so that's all cleaned up now so that there's nothing sticking out grabbing stuff and we'll tie it off to the tree. Right, there look good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we've got it tied off and in place. Just a simple, simple tie job. Doesn't have to be anything complicated. Tried to keep it so the space is fairly even. Going all the way up. That's pretty darn good. If we have to push the bottom out a little bit, we can. If you notice, instead of tying the bottom, I just use my handy little shovel here to dig a hole. I'm gonna do the exact same thing over on that end. We have to do this while the battery is constantly trying to die. All right, so we had a little bit of an issue over here. Ah, trees are eating the camera. That one was a bit wider at this end than we anticipated, so we had to push out the support beam a little. But if it's a problem, we can always support it from behind here, here to here. Not a biggie. And it also leaves a bit of a gap, but you know what? It's as simple as going like this. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not that simple. But using your foot and building stuff up underneath it to fill in the put, space. Putting in some of the shorty logs along the Yeah, we've got a lot of excess loggage that's too small to fit. Loggage. Loggage. <laughs> and it's gonna come to a nice point in the back of it. So it's gonna be a nice little three-walled cabin of sorts. But that's a, that's a good amount of work for us for today. We're not usually ones to be this productive, but it's a start and it won't get built if we're not out here building it. Like, look at this wall. Look at that wall, guys. Isn't that awesome? We did good. I think we did good. I think we did really good. We'll know when the snow's sitting against it. Well, one more battery later. Ta-da! We'll do one more quick look around, show you guys how awesome it turned out. That's pretty cool. And yeah, those are a couple of Timmy's cups there. We're leaving them down here, tucked away, in a safe location, so we have something to start our fire with next time, thinking ahead. But, we got the placement of that last log, or not last log, that first log for the next wall, and, I think we've done enough for today. You think so? Yeah. I think so. Actually, you know, second thought, I'm gonna grab those cups and throw them in my bag because I don't want somebody to get the wrong idea. We intend to use them to burn to start a fire next time we're out, but somebody else might get the wrong idea and think we're littering, so let's be safe about it. Anyhow, we're done with this for today. We're gonna do a hike down to our camp spot from where we are now. Oh. That's nice, eh? So you know that camp spot that I always canoe to? Well, we're gonna hike to it from a different direction. It's, not, it's totally different. It's a way we don't usually go. I'm probably gonna film little bits. So if you wanna see that, that video will be coming soon. Thanks for watching today. Hope you guys enjoyed our little bushcraft build for the day, our progression on our hut. It'll be done soon. Thanks again for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. 
get the notification bell rung so you know when I post new material, click like, click share, and all that lovely stuff. I, yeah, I really messed that up. Think positive, stay positive. Keep a smile on your face, and we'll see you again soon. Hold on. Pick a direction. Oh, we're going that way. You want to go that way? Yeah. Right. See you guys in the next vlog.